In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Kindle Cloud Reader app, which will allow you to read the free ebook that was sent to you. And you can do this on your desktop, laptop, or Dell Chromebook. You simply want to open up the Chrome browser. And the first thing I'm going to do is search for the Chrome Web Store. So I'm going to type in Chrome Web Store. And that's the very first result in my search query. So I'm going to click on that. And once I'm looking at the Chrome Web Store, I'm going to search for Kindle using the search box in the top left hand corner. And the very first app that should pop up is the Kindle Cloud Reader. I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Chrome and Add App. Now let's add it. I'm going to go back to my home page. Now, how do you get to the Kindle Cloud Reader app? If you'll notice, I have a bookmarks bar that is visible in Chrome. And on that bookmarks bar, there's an apps button. If you don't see the bookmarks bar, you can press Control Shift B. You can see that'll hide it. Or I can hit Control Shift B again to show that bar. I'm going to click the apps button. And here's my first page of apps. And down below, I'm going to click over to my second page. And there's the Kindle Cloud Reader app. Now yours might be on your first page of apps depending on how many you have installed. But I'm going to click this here on my second page. And I'll sign in to my Amazon account. So I'll put in my email address. I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to use my password manager to do this. And once I do that, I will be signed in to my Amazon account and I can see what I have in the cloud. These are all the books that I have purchased. And if I click on this one, it should download it and add it uh, to my Kindle Cloud Reader. And this functions just like a Kindle app on your iPhone, on your iPad or Android device. I can click either the left or right arrow to back up or go through the book. I can hover up here if I want to change the text. So I can do sepia. I can change the font size, make it a little smaller. I can make it one column only and apply settings. And this will give you the opportunity to read that book in your browser.